is very small load from North Okanagan Regional District. And mix that with uh, hog fuel from, from the mills, uh, wood waste from the landfill, pretty well any kind of wood waste we can get our hands on that accommodates our, our system. Um, and mix it together, put it on aerated pads, which you'll see when we get up there. Um, we've got 36 zones of, of aerated pads that push air up and draw the air down to maintain temperatures inside the piles so that basically we kill off all the bad pathogens. Um, so with this, this is essentially how we operate our, our piles. So right now um, we've got these two, these three running, there's nothing on these zones. Um, we monitor the temperatures with five foot probes that tell us the top and bottom temperatures and takes the average of those. When there's a difference of five degrees, it'll push the air up or draw it down. Um, uh, let's see, we've got We also with this we can monitor the pressures within the system, um, within the ducting system, um, the biofilter temperatures, some of the air that we draw out, a lot of it goes back in to maintain temperatures, a certain percentage gets pushed out through biofilters. Um, we, well that's about, <laughs> actually I'll show you a graph of some of the piles. Used to have a really, oh, actually, there's a picture of, of one of our, our graphs here. So essentially, we want that sort of breathing-looking lines, so it's going up and down constantly. Um, and you'll have to excuse me. I don't give tours, so. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, they might be interested in some things like your capacity or production. Yeah. Have any of those numbers? Uh, sort of. <laughs> um, approximate. Yeah, let's see, our numbers are kind of out of date. Marsh is much better at that aspect, but uh, generally we take in uh, roughly about 30 to 30,000 uh, 30 to 35,000 tons of metric tons of biosolids. Uh, is what we take in, process, and ship out. Um, is that per week or uh, annual? Annual, annual. yeah. Yeah, uh, breaking it down into smaller amounts, I really I don't know. Um, I think every truck brings in about. Geez. I, you know what, I don't even know. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, that's there's a that's sort of where that pile's at currently. It's it's all in real time. Um, with this, I mean, we can control whether we can control manually if it's closed or positive or negative. Um, control the, the temperature, right? Is Not the temperature. Well, sort of the temperature. Um, fans. Basically, the fans, which whether it's drawing the air down or blowing it through. With that you can adjust temperatures, sort of. If you draw air in, it generally cools a pile. If you're pushing air into it, it'll generally heat it up, get all the little bugs starting to work and, and do their thing. Um, that's, I think, kind of about it. Um, yeah, I, we can... What's the footprint here? How many acres is it? I think we're at 12 acres. Um, well, 12 acres up top for where where all the work goes. Or actually, no, maybe it's only... I think our actual, our entire site is 12 acres. I think up top is about 5 to 7. Um, <clears throat> we also monitor regularly. We, have, we keep track of moisture of the piles. Uh, twice a week, we... 
keep track of our biofilter temperatures, um, how much water we're bringing in and, and sending back out to the reservoir. We also keep track of uh, H2S on the piles, coming off the piles. Um, we keep track of, of ammonia and amines. And yeah, basically, well, there's not much for this year so far, but uh, yeah, we keep track of it all um, so that we we get a lot of complaints from people. We've also got a, I'll show you in the, well, show you in the other room, it's, uh, we've got a state-of-the-art um, device called an e-nose and where we can monitor the odors coming off our piles we can see a model of what our odor plume is like where Wind it's direction. going everything yeah um which has helped with our complaints because we actually have something to kind of fight back with yeah um and that's kind of like about what we can get into down here um keep track of our our bulk densities which is well, essentially how dense our piles are our uh, the free air space within the pile which is quite important because if it's too dense and there's not enough air space we're not going to push air through the pile could go anaerobic and then really cause a stink it'll still compost but it won't do it properly um, I guess the thicker it is too, the longer it's going to take to... Yeah, to yeah. And, and we can see, with that program, we can see it right away when temperatures don't come up. Um, generally, that's an indication there's something wrong with the pile. Um, Do your volumes vary over um, summer or winter? Not so much with coming in. It's generally, it's pretty steady. Um, going out, we sell a heck of a lot less during the winter. Um, our primary, uh, uh, I guess, consumer is, is Nature's Gold. They take most of our product and they further refine it into what they want. Um, what else is there? Oak Grow as well? Sorry? Oak Grow as well? Well, we make Oak Grow. Yeah, and they turn it into Nature's and Gold. And they turn it into Nature's okay. Gold, yes. Um, we also, we sell to, to other companies as well, but uh, not not to the extent of nature's gold. Go ahead. Have you started your tour yet? It's sort of. It's down here at the moment, but we're going to be heading up shortly. Did you want to join? I was just going to say, remember to close your locker because there's all that pornographic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. Good <laughs> talk. Uh, <laughs> well, with that, <laughs> with that, we'll go. I think we'll go up top.